Hello, my lovely tubers. If you would like to see how I got and achieved this look, keep on watching. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Victoria. So I decided to do a makeup look for today uh, based on the comments that I received on my eye look. So this is what we're going to be replicating. So I, my face is already clean and moisturized and then I did use some soft glow focus drops from Rodial. We are going to be using to prime the face is the Tom Ford Illuminating, Illuminating Primer. Wow, I can't talk today. Just close it down. You can use any type of primer. It doesn't have to be Tom Ford. I'm just bougie sometimes that I wanted to try Tom Ford and I really like it. Do I use it all the time? Um, no, <laughs> but it does work. So I like that soft glow that I get on my skin. It's really, really pretty. We're going to be using the Tom Ford Glow Tinted Moisturizer. I am color 6.2 Cool Dune. All right, so I'm going to put some on the back of the hand. Boop. And I'm using my Kat Von D angled foundation brush. Got this. If you watch any of my videos, I got this in my boxy pop-up haul. Don't forget your neck. <laughs> right, look at how pretty that looks. So nice. Okay. And then the concealer that I'm going to be using is the Infallible, the True Match Infallible from L'Oreal in medium. Schmedium. So kind of putting it there. Up. Up. Mm -hmm. I'll be using my blending concealer brush from It Cosmetics. And then we're going to be using a little bit of the Becca. This is the highlight brightening corrector. Right underneath my little bags I have here. And use the your finger to melt the product and blend it. Magic. <laughs> going to use this little, um, it's a precision foundation brush, but because it's real tapered, we're going to go into our little hourglass powder, roll and set. So now that we have that kind of, not baking necessarily, but setting under the eyes, I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs. This is the Accomplice Powder in Siren, number 52. I'm going to use my Sephora Big Featherweight Brush. And again, kind of rolling it in. You don't want that streaky because you don't want to wipe off that product, right? Okay, for our eyebrows, we're going to be using a pencil. It'll be the Fenty Beauty pencil. I received this in my BoxyCharm a few boxes ago and I found that I've really liked it. So, okay, let's brush these out. And I like their brush. It's, a, it's not your standard spoolie. Okay, brows all nice our good old Urban Decay eyeshadow pro, uh, potion, eyeshadow primer. And I use a finger for this. People can use brushes. I like the warmth of my finger to 
kind of push it in. All right. The palette that I'm going to be using is my Ace Beauty uh, Nostalgia Palette from my that I received in my boxy box, boxy charm box. It doesn't have to be any particular, you know, special brand brush. It's a long, big, fluffy blending brush. Okay, so we're going to be using it's called Popsicle. So you can use like it's almost like a like a marigold type color. So we're going to use that as our transition shade. But the way that we're going to start it, so we're going to start from the corner and sweep it out towards the eyebrow. We want to elongate the eye. You see how it's like, it looks like it's pulled back now. That's exactly what we're going to do. Same thing with the other eye. Next, we're going to get a contour brush and we're going to go into, it's called camping, but like a, like a matte red, if you have it. And you're going to go ahead and work that in to the contour, but you're going to be a little bit above it. Okay. And then we're going to go into a little bit of hiking, which is like a mahogany type color. Just a little bit down here. And because we didn't really compromise the lid, we're going to go into heat. We're going to use our finger. And if you push down too hard, it is very soft. <laughs> so don't do that. So if you got a nice little bit of color, and we're going to sweep that right into the lid. And see how that all blended in? It looks like a sunrise or a sunset, whatever you want to look at it. Okay, and then what we're going to do is you're going to take this color and you're going to kind of go right in the middle towards the front because then we're going to get like our pencil brush and we're going to use either hiking or camping, whichever one you want to do. I think I'm going to go with camping, which is that mahogany color again. then sweep it up. There's this color called Fun, which is like this uber gold type color. I'm going to put it right in the corner of our eye. We're going to take a little bit of stargazing, which is like this melon type iridescent color here. And very lightly open our brows now as usual I usually like to do my liquid eyeliner however I didn't feel like putting any eyeliner on just because didn't feel like it so what I am going to do which I normally don't do is I'm going to curl my eyelashes with my little Sephora lash curler course I have to do my bad gal bang need something bold and black says you want it to stand out against your lids right I don't like wearing falsies <laughs> especially those other Christmas videos that I where I used the falsies it pulled out my real lashes I was not happy <laughs> okay 
Okay, so I think two coats works for right now because I just want to achieve enough black in my lashes. What do you think? So I have my Marc Jacobs eyeliner here. It's called Glamoroon. I'm going to stick this right in the corners of my eyes. And the beauty of this, it's waterproof. Now that the eyes are done, they're fun. We don't want to detract the attention from the eyes, right? By making too bold of the rest of the face. So we're going to take that same brush here and I'm going to be using my True Luscious Lucky Glow palette in, and using the Serendipity. And then for our cheekers, we're going to use the Marc Jacobs brush, but we're going to go towards the end of our eye and we're going to go up. We're working on angles here, right? Okay. I'm going to put a little bit on my giant forehead. <laughs> Contour and highlight, we're playing around with light and shadows. And then for a little bit of color on our face, we're gonna be using the Bloom Blush and Glow Palette from Natasha Denona. I think I'm gonna use this Duo Glow here. Again, very light. And because this is very pigmented, very light. See, very light indeed. <laughs> I'm going to go up too high underneath the eye because let's highlight the creases, right? And we're going to use that on our nose versus regular highlight. And add some warmth. Oh, Kinder Glow highlight palette that I got from my BoxyCharm box. Okay, I think that we're going to go in with this guy right here. That one is called Angel. So I'm going to use my little Japanese brush and brush just on top of that blusher. See that? Bam. Very little on the tip of the nose. We want that illusion that we have a quasi pointy nose, yet we don't. <laughs> a little bit in the middle of the forehead. We're going to be using the Hourglass in Idealist. This is our lipstick here. It's been a little run down, but it's in this like beigey neutral color. All nighter spray and set the face. <laughs> Chills. All right, and this is our look. This is what I had on for today for Mother's Day, and I hope you guys enjoy it. But thank you for watching and thank you for all the support. Stay tuned for more videos, okay? Mwah. Love you guys.